This week's shooting inside one of America's biggest shopping malls has many wondering, how safe are we? Especially as we start the holiday shopping season. Ebru's Derek Dennis joins us live now from the Garden State Plaza Mall. That is where the shooting happened, right here in New Jersey. Derek. Well, Logan, right behind me here, just inside the mall, past the Nordstrom department store, is where the gunshots rang out. The mall is reopened now. Shoppers are once again making their purchases. But a security expert says shoppers are safe as long as there are security cameras and vigilant people inside. Monday night shooting inside the Garden State Plaza Mall in Paramus, New Jersey, has left shoppers on edge, wondering what, if anything, they can do to protect themselves in the event it happens again. I'll definitely be on my toes and you know, be on the lookout. Uh, if I see anything like weird or different, I'll, you know, call the police. I think everyone tries to get somewhere to hide, so that would probably have been the best thing to do. Hundreds hid inside the mall as the gunfire erupted, taking cover inside stores and then quietly calling 911. In the end, no one was hurt except the 21-year-old gunman, Richard Shoup, who shot and killed himself as police swarmed the mall and a shopper stayed inside, many not knowing what to do. One is to get out. If you're anywhere near an exit, you exit as fast as you can. If move with a crowd, if a crowd is running towards an exit, get with them. Desmond Smith is a security expert who runs a company called SW24. It provides a network of video surveillance cameras to watch apartment buildings, offices, and other public places. Workers are trained to spot illegal or suspicious activity. And in the case of the mall shooting, surveillance cameras helped keep everyone safe, showing police where to find the suspect, dead or alive. The cameras are there, but they have, to, they have to serve a purpose and they have to serve it immediately. So the more you can train first responders, whether it be fire or police or SWAT teams, uh, how to use the technology, the faster they can assess the scenario they're walking into. Experts say in hindsight, nothing more could have been done to prevent the shooting. The mall was already equipped with security guards and its own surveillance cameras, and an army of police responded immediately. The best advice for shoppers, stay watchful and aware of your surroundings at all times. And as the gunfire rang out, hundreds of calls were made to 911 by shoppers inside. Security experts and police say those calls made all the difference, giving law enforcement uh, the details of where the shooter might be and where the innocent people might be hiding. That's the story here live from Paramus, New Jersey. I'm Derek Dennis for Ebru News. Logan, back to you. All right, Derek, thank you so much for that report.